Hi everyone, this is Kelly Callahan, VP of Marketing here at Algorand. I am fortunate to sit down today with Mr. Thomas Rule, who is the CEO and founder of Bloomy. Bloomy has a number of solutions. Uh, what I thought I'd do is take the time to sit and speak with him specifically on Bloomy Pay, um, which you know is a really innovative and unique offering, bringing a lot to the ecosystem here at Algorand. Um, so Thomas, I will pass it over to you to sort of A, introduce yourself, and then tell us a little bit at a high level, you know, what Bloomy Pay is, what does it do, what makes it different? Hi, hi Kelly, thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. Uh, my name is Tom Azarul. Uh, I am CEO and co-founder of a company called Bloomy. Uh, we are a Boston-based, uh, uh, blockchain-based payment product company. Uh, we've been partnered with Algorand for the past two years. So uh, we have a product called Bloomy Pay. Um, Bloomy Pay is a non-custodial blockchain agnostic platform that supports payments, payouts, and other use cases for payments. So what we can do with Bloomy Pay is you can accept payments. Uh, say you want to accept payment, uh, digital currency payment online, website, mobile, or point of sale, or email, as well as you can send payouts. So you want to pay your employees or send payments to your contractors uh, where digital currency, we enable that. So basically, Bloomy Pay is a non-custodial blockchain-based platform to enable payments and payouts. Got it. That's awesome. And how um, you know you've integrated with a few different chains, um, you know, Ethereum and Algorand being two of those. Why the integration with Algorand? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, you know, when we started, uh, we built a platform that's blockchain agnostic, so we can add uh, any blockchain to the platform. So we started with Ethereum. Um, now we have Algorand. So I think one of the things is that the purpose of a digital currency payment is to enable speed, security, and also much more cheaper. Uh, right now with Ethereum, it's very expensive to do any transaction. It kind of defeats the purpose. Um, Algorand has been a great partner. Um, I think I think I talk about the four P's when I talk about Algorand. One is the people. Uh, there's a great management team uh, led by Silvio and also the team by uh, Sean. Steve, uh, also the, it's also VC backed. We're excited about that. Then the platform. I think the Algorand platform is the first open source, permissionless, pure uh, proof of stake blockchain platform. So the performance is phenomenal. And uh, the transaction cost of doing something in Algorand is probably 150,000 compared to other blockchains. So it's also very fast and secure. And also there's a great ecosystem of people. And also the place, Kelly. I love, we are both Boston based companies. I love Boston. <laughs> So talk about the four things, people, platform, partners, and place. Agreed. Uh, I think we have an amazing community here in Boston, and I'm amazed every day at what comes out of the city. Um, you mentioned a lot about the, the, the speed and the finality and the cost of it. Um, can you talk to me what was this, you know, for, for a business or an organization, small business, large enterprise that's used to taking, um, payments at 3% credit card fees. And with less and less cash business in the time of pandemic, how can payment solutions like Bloomy really impact the bottom line for businesses when they get on board with accepting crypto instead of doing these payments that go through a third party, whether that be a credit card or a bank? Like how do they how do they recognize the difference when it comes to to all of those things? What does that mean for an end user, an end user being a small or large enterprise? Yeah, absolutely. So I think one of the you know, you know critical parts of a digital currency is the payment part, and um, you want to enable payments using uh, digital currency, and that's what stable coins are there, and a lot of countries are going with CBDC, um, and most of the stable coins were on Ethereum. Uh, it was great two years back to do a transaction on Ethereum, but right now it kind of defeats the purpose uh, because it's going to cost uh, at least fifteen to twenty dollars to do a transaction. So that kind of defeats the purpose. And if you say some, hey, I want to pay with fiat or I want to pay with digital currency and if I use ethereum it kind of defeats the purpose so now with you can't, with you have to you have to you'd have to justify taking such a large payment right to justify 12 okay absolutely and it doesn't help in any of the small day-to-day -day transactions but it might help in a you know enterprise-wide huge payment but typically what is happening is that people are moving towards uh, adopting digital currency for day-to-day -day transactions so then you know as a merchant you know I don't want to pay three percent or four percent or if I do international wire transfer, I don't want to pay a hefty 5% uh, commission. So that's where digital currency comes in place. And with stablecoin, you can send uh, money at lightning fast across the world. And 
this is going to be the future where people can do that for pennies. And if you use Algorand, the transaction costs are going to be pennies or micro pennies, I would say. And also the finality is very quick and near real time. So the experience of, uh, you know, when I pay a Visa or a MasterCard, when I buy a coffee, it's going to be near real time. Uh, with the current blockchains, you don't get that. But with Algorand, we see that, you know, the transaction can be at near real time, as well as the cost is going to be in micro pennies. So that's a game changer. And enterprises and companies are going to slowly or adapt to sending payments via digital currency. That's what is happening right now. A lot of people are talking about it. And finally, we'll see a lot of use cases where I can go to my Starbucks and pay using digital currency and get my coffee. So that's the thing that's going to. And also, the COVID has taken a leapfrog. You know, cash is dirty. People don't yeah. want to use cash. And, and especially the PPP loan is, for example, it took a long time to sent to everyone. But if everyone had a wallet, it could have been easier to send uh, the money directly to each and every individual. So that's the future. And the future is happening right now, especially in the digital currency space. Yeah, no, it is for sure. Um, so to recap what I've heard, Thomas, right, the, the benefits of sort of digital currency payment acceptances being the speed, the security, the globalness of it, uh, the finality, and the fact that uh, micro payments are also unlocked because you could you could take smaller payments because you don't have to justify that 3%. It's it's micro pennies, like you said. Um, what types of, you know, tell me about more of the e-com plugins. I know that you guys have a robust uh, support for e-com plugins. How are you working with that network and how are you sort of providing the overlay and the bridge, I guess, to the crypto world there? Yeah, absolutely. So one of the things we did is also we want to make sure that uh, we can cover a lot of the use mile, last mile use cases of uh, payment. So uh, the low hanging fruit is uh, the shopping carts and there's a lot of shopping carts that tax, accept uh, traditional payment, but there are far and few which can accept digital currency payments. So we have integrated Bloomy Pay uh, with some of the leading shopping carts like O-Commerce, Adobe Magento, OpenCard, ZenCard, Drupal Commerce, as well as uh, OS Commerce. So like example, you can go to the Adobe Merchant uh, Magento store and download Bloomy plugin and start accepting digital currency. You know, Today you can just go there, search for Bloomy Pay, and start accepting USDC or Algos or uh, Tether on Algorand as we speak. Yeah, and are you seeing more adoption on a global level or here in the US where you're based? Uh, what I would say is I've seen more adoption in Southeast Asia and uh, Latin America. Uh, US is a little slower on adopting uh, digital currency as a payment. Um, so I see more adoption in Latin America as well as Southeast Asia. Got it. Okay. And you mentioned uh, you mentioned Tether. You mentioned USDC, the US dollar coin. Um, let's talk about stable coins on on Bloomy, right? They sort of you know stable coins remove that volatility aspect. They're pegged to a currency or a basket of currencies. There's something back to it. Um, can you tell us more about stable coins and what they enable and how they're sort of a um, they're poised to really shake up the payment space? What do you see happening there? Yeah, absolutely. So I think. You know, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum is uh, is good for uh, value of store. Uh, people don't want to transact with it because you know it fluctuates. As a merchant, I'm not going to be happy that I, you know I, I sell something and the money goes down. As well as as an individual user, when I buy something in Bitcoin, Ethereum, it doesn't make sense because the volatility as well as the fee. But stable coins is a game changer. Uh, you have the kind of the money at the speed of uh, the internet, as you can as sending as well as a, sending a text. So that's changing. And um, the good news is that we have a company in uh, Boston Circle with USDC. Uh, there's other things across $2 billion. That's fantastic. But again, right now, it's on Ethereum. And we're really excited about what is it's happening in Algorand too. So that people can transact, send money, send dollars across using stable coins um, on Algorand fast, as well as the cost is going to be almost nothing. So that's the excitement part. So I think stable coins is a great bridge where people can start accepting currency as well as uh, paying out currency using stable coin. The thing is that it's always picked to a dollar. So there's no need to worry about uh, volatile currency. It's going to go down or go up. So it's always a dollar. So that's a fantastic uh, opportunity for a lot of businesses to start accepting digital currency as a payment. Yeah. No, agreed. I think it's it's super exciting to see what's going on um, you know, here in the U.S., USDC, uh, more broadly Tether, it's it's really impressive. If you um, if you were to step back and look at some of the more, we've, we've been talking a lot about the basic payments, a plug-in to Magento, a plug-in to Shopify, or one of the e-com providers, and just a uh, consumer giving a business um, a payment in crypto, which the business realizes, you know, 
nearly 3% uh, increased savings. Uh, what are the more complex um, the more complex scenarios that might be op opened up by digital payments like this? So I think, uh, you know, sometimes people ask, hey, why do I need a payment? Can I send a wallet to wallet transfer? But when you do payments at large, you need to have a system to, to track and trace all the payments. But a lot of scenarios would happen just because you, know, you want to split payments. So you suppose an order for $100, you want to pay partially now and partially later. Uh, sometimes what happens, you want to underpay instead of hundred dollar order you pay sixty dollars you want to pay forty dollars later uh one of the th things in digital currency is overpayment by by mistake if you send uh instead of hundred dollars you pay in thousand it goes off you know there's no way to get back until you're reliable but we take care of all these exceptions and conditions such a way that you only pay for the value of the order the order is hundred dollars we want to make sure that you get paid for a hundred dollars so there are a lot of exception scenarios we take care in our product and um, so to answer that also what we see is also a lot of businesses, B2B payments, people are interested in because they huge uh, payments done right now in traditional fiat. So there's an opportunity for them to look into adopting digital currency as a payment option because you get payment at the speed of light uh, using digital currencies and you don't need to have a lot of the intermediaries for payment. So that's what uh, the blockchain enables. And that is something which a lot of business can adopt and take advantage of getting access to that to that income to that cash to that to that funding quicker right yeah absolutely. what's um how far how far off is widespread adoption of the acceptance of crypto stable coins in particular for any consumer or enterprise small business how, how far off are we from like broad scale adoption on that so that's a good question kelly um you know um i've been in this business for almost two and a half years so I thought it's going to happen two years back, but I realized that people have been uh, traditionally using uh, crypto for a hedge or trading, and that is slowly changing. And uh, the DeFi space is expanding uh, now with uh, you know the you know, Algorand and uh, really, uh, USDC coming in Algorand. It kind of makes sense for transacting with a very lower cost because the barriers to entry was high, you know, because you don't want to pay a significant gas fee because I'd rather go with my fiat, my traditional rails because I'm comfortable with it and there's not uh, significant savings. But with the newer blockchain like Algorand and the cost of transacting, which is going to be almost nothing, it's a huge, uh, uh, you know, huge entry point for a lot of these businesses. So I see that this year and next year, uh, a lot of B2B are going to start adopting payment using digital currency as an option. Great. I totally agree. I hope it I hope it comes soon. I'm excited for it. Um, bring it back to Algorand for a little bit. I know that you guys have been uh, building and integrating with Algorand. Can you talk a little bit about um, some of your experience there with the documentation, the resources that are available and, and how you found that process of sort of integrating Algorand into your into your solution? You know, we've been partnered with Algorand for almost two years and I was the first ambassador of Algorand in Boston. So I was really excited about that. Mm -hmm. So I think one of the things Algorand is that, uh, you know, when I, the people, you know, I've been interacting with a lot of engineering team as well as management, they're very, very knowledgeable, very helpful. I think I'm really excited to work with them. Uh, whenever I have a question, my team has a question, there's always a way to answer it. And also they've introduced the Al Algorand Ambassador Program, but there's a lot of people uh, we talk and share knowledge. That is fantastic. As well, the ecosystem of other partners in Algorand has been great. Uh, so we work with a lot of the Algorand based companies uh, for infrastructure as well as other payment solutions. So it's been a you know, win win. Uh, really excited about the opportunity to work with Algorand and also see the product evolving with a lot of the new features and also taking on the market share because finality is very important as well as speed is very important as well as security is important. So that is provided by Algorand and that's uh, you know really a game changer as for us as, as a product comes. Great, awesome. Um, let's see, what's, uh, what's next for Bloomy? Where are you going from here? So I think, uh, as I said, digital currency adoption is happening now. Um, I think there's a huge distribution uh, disruption in the industry with uh, B2B started leveraging it. And there's a lot of countries talking about CBDC, uh, the last mile. Um, you know, a lot of people are working on the problem of uh, getting the CBDC, but also the last mile problem. And once you have CBDC in a country, you need uh, uh, products like Bloomy to do the day-to-day -to -day use cases for payments. I go buy a coffee or I want to pay my employee using payrolls. So those are uh, fantastic use cases which uh, we can solve. 
So we're really excited and we want to be a small and meaningful part of this action right now happening in digital currency space. Awesome. Well, we are proud and honored to have you supporting the Algorand ecosystem. And thank you for all of the work that you've done and all of the solutions that you've built and connections that you've made and, and support here. And thanks for joining me today, Thomas. Thank you, Kate. Thank you very much. It was nice talking to you.